Hey, this is Todd Dixon. Welcome to day 22 of VEDA, my vlog every day in August challenge. This challenge is great. It really gives you an opportunity to practice your video skills, your editing skills, and one of the best parts is the community of people you have. So if you're interested, you can follow the hashtag SSSVEDA to follow along. So today I want to talk about Facebook video marketing and I want to give you five tips. Okay, let's dive right in with our first tip. You want to make sure you grab attention in the first three seconds and you're going to do this in a way that's mobile friendly, which means use a square format for your video. Most people are watching your video on their phone, so you want to make sure that you grab their attention quickly. Our second tip. You want to use captions. So after you've uploaded your video, go back and add the little captions. Since most people are going to be listening with the sound off, you want to make sure that your replay viewers can read right along with you. That's right, sound off, because 80%, actually a little over 80% of people now watch their videos on Facebook with the sound off. So you want to make sure you have text on there. And the third tip, keep a consistent schedule. People get used to tuning in a certain day, a certain time. You know, try to be consistent. And if you can't stick to a certain day and time, then at least try to stick to a certain frequency of posting. Is it once a week, twice a week? Go with the flow, but let your audience know what to expect in terms of your schedule. Another tip, you know, when you're just getting started with Facebook, you may not have a lot of people that are watching your videos through the end, which is called a completion rate. Facebook recommends that if you're just getting started, aim for 15 second videos. So if you're trying to build up that engagement and build up some of those metrics, um, start small. And again, you're looking for 100% completion rate. So 15 seconds is a good starting point for that. Tip number five. Last but definitely not least, you want to upload your video natively versus, say, sharing a link to your YouTube channel. When you share a link to an external source like YouTube or Vimeo, Facebook kind of frowns on that and they won't place your video quite as high. So you'll probably notice that your engagement is down for those links, um, your audience reach is down. Now, if you actually produce your video, save it, and then upload it as a native file, you'll see a big increase. I know I have, even with this VEDA challenge, the last couple days I've uploaded the videos natively to my Facebook um, business page at 720 Media, and boy, the metrics are much, much higher than when I shared YouTube links. So that's another really good one. I love tweeting about social media and Facebook video marketing, that kind of thing. Uh, feel free to follow me on my business account as well at 720 Media. I'm using this whole VEDA challenge to kind of test out some different content ideas so that um, come September I can really hit the ground running with my 720 Media channel. So what about you? Are you doing much with Facebook video? I'd love to hear in the comments. And if you have a business page that you're posting a lot of uh, your videos to, please leave a link. Let's connect. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name's Todd Dixon. You can follow me on Twitter. Leave a comment to any of your social channels. I would love to connect with you. Have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. And don't forget, hit subscribe. <laughs>